Hello and welcome to High Ground Gaming. This is Eric, and today we're going to play game number eight of the 2000. Sorry, <laughs> I keep saying 2000. Of uh, the 1905 New York Giants season. Um, today we're going to be playing a game against the Philadelphia Athletics. No, I'm sorry, the Philadelphia Phillies, the National League version. <laughs> I uh, forgot this two teams in Philadelphia as in 1905, the Athletics in the American League and the Phillies in the National League. So this is the uh, s score of the, uh, the scores from the first seven games of the season. Um, we started out against the Boston Bean Eaters and swept them, but then we lost three in a row. At home to Philadelphia, the Phillies, and now we're visiting Philadelphia, and we won, just won the first game of the series to break a three-game losing streak. So we've had streaks of three so far, so we're hoping to continue that streak of three at least uh, into the series with Phil, with Phil, at Philadelphia. So I just want to give you guys a show of that. So let's see, where are we today? So here we go. It's going to, yep. So, all right. Make sure that we're on the right page here. And, yep. Detroit, we're not going to play right now until Ty Cobb actually starts, which isn't going to be towards, till towards the end of the season. We're going to be playing through his career starting in 1905. Uh, which it didn't start until I believe it was the end of August, early September of uh, 1905. And it, goes, it would go all the way through 1928. So <laughs> we have a lot to play, definitely. So, And uh, as we said, next year we'll, we'll probably play a different team other than the Giants. I just chose the Giants to play because um, they were the best team in baseball in 1905. And we will vote on... Um, you know, which won't be for a while, but we'll vote on what to play, uh, what team to play in the 1906 season, 1907 season, and so forth. So that way everybody gets a chance to get involved and, um, you know, can, can see the teams. And occasionally we will play t other teams um, other than, like, I think I did play a New York Highlanders versus Philadelphia Athletics game because it had a good matchup and everything. So occasionally I'll play some games from the American League also just so you can see different teams and everything. But now we're going to be, uh, get, like I said, play game eight of the uh, 2005, I'm mean, sorry, <laughs> 1905 New York Giants. Um, so you can see the Giants are four and three. Uh, the Chicago Cubs are still undefeated in first place, seven and zero. Oh. We may play one of their Cubs games. Um, not sure, as I'll probably, I don't really want to <laughs> jinx. Uh, the uh, Cubs undefeated season there. So I think I'll just probably watch it. Um, maybe, maybe we'll uh, record a video and just watch them play, um, possibly. And the uh, Chicago White Sox are also doing re really well, too. They're 6-1. Uh, and one. So between the two Cub two uh, Chicago teams, they're 13-1. and one. So we could, if this keeps up, we could have a Chica all Chicago World Series. That would be interesting. <laughs> so, all right. So, let's get this game underway. And I meant to do the 10-minute ticker. Let's see if I can still do that. Probably can't now, but let's see. Nope, I guess I can't. I forgot to check the 10-minute ticker. Oh, no big deal. Sometimes that gets a little distracting, too, going through the other scores. Uh, but it is kind of nice to follow sometimes, too. But today we will not. So let's see. Let's go into the park image. And we're going to use the alternative field. And we're going to go. Let's see. We're going to choose the Shy Park. Actually, it's at. Yeah, it's at Philadelphia. So we'll choose Shy Park. And normally I'll have done this already. I'm going to go with this one right here. And use alternative. Yes. All right, there we go. So that shows, shows you how to do the 
Change the field there, and I think everything should be all set. I think I've already got everything set for the uh, park there, so all the bases line up and the players and everything. Hopefully that'll be the case. Alrighty. Hold on there. Philadelphia, Toki, Pittinger. So, alright. So, I didn't set up my other TV yet, so I'll be right back. I'm just going to set that up really quick. Alrighty. Sorry about that. Normally, I have everything all set up. Um, but I decided to do a recording uh, just because I had a little extra time here. So... So, all right, welcome to the Baker Bowl. This is Shy Park, actually. I, I don't actually have a picture of the Baker Bowl. Um, couldn't find a really good one. Uh, but Shy Park would open up in Philadelphia, I believe, like three or four years later. So we're going to go with it. Um, they would use this for quite a while. So Red Ames gets a start for New York. He's made one start in a year. There's 1-0 in the area of six. His first start against Philadelphia. He'll be opposed by Toggy Pittenger. So we saw the, him in the last series. Uh, he pitched really well against us. Um, not sure if this is the same matchup, but uh, I know Pittenger did pitch a great game against us. He's made two starts for the year and is 1-1 one one with an ERA of 7.20. Yeah, the second start in New York. He's 1-0 oh with an ERA of, yeah, I remember that. 1-0 oh with an ERA of 0 against New York. He shut us out. Um, so obviously he didn't do so well against the next team. <laughs> Or the team he did free previously to us. So it's 64 degrees. Wind speed, speed 9 miles per hour. In from center field. So let's play some ball. Play ball! So as you can see, everything is set up all right. Um, we'll go through quickly go through the Philadelphia. I mean, our lineup. Since we'll be uh, the visiting team. So we'll be facing Pittenger. Who's got a record of... This is kind of weird, too. This kind of did some funky things to the boxes here. Hopefully that's the only funky thing. Uh, Pittenger was 1-1 one one with an ERA of 7.20. 15 innings pitched. 21 hits. Homer. 4 runs. and four K, I mean, 4 walks and 4 Ks. Opponents hitting 328 against them. He was 23-14 and 14 in the actual season. And uh, our lineup will be Mike as follows. Mike Donlin. Batting first, playing center field. Currently hitting 290 with five runs batted in. Next up will be Brown, Sam Brown. Sorry, George Brown, the center, uh, the right fielder. Well, next up will be Bresnahan, the catcher. He'll bat third. Roger Bresnahan. Batting cleanup will be Dan McGann, the first baseman. Batting fifth, the left fielder, Sam Mertes. Batting sixth and playing second base. I'm sorry, third base. <laughs> Art Devlin. Batting seventh, the shortstop, Bill Dolan. Batting eighth, the second baseman, Billy Gilbert. And batting ninth and on the mound, Red Ames. So that's your lineup for the New York Giants. And then we go and we get to Pittenger. So let's get the game underway. Ground ball through. Poor play by the third baseman. So Courtney isn't able to come up with it. And it'll be a leadoff single for Donlin. So let's look at the uh, lineup. I mean, the outfield for the uh, Philadelphia Phillies. It'd be Sam McGee. He's very good range. Thomas in center. Excellent, excellent range. And Titus will play left, right field. He's the weak link of the three. The infield is as follows. Courtney, this is six rating, average. Doolin, average also at shortstop. Kid Gleason will be the second baseman. 
a Hall of Famer. He's got a seven. And uh, Bransfield, the first baseman, is also a seven. So above average there. Strongest point is Bronzefield overall. Uh, Doolin, Doolin behind the plate is above average. So that is your lineup for your Philadelphia Phillies. So next up will be George Brown. He's hitting 267 with a homer and six runs batted in. And he pops him up behind the plate. This is me running a little bit slow. And a web gem. So Dewan makes an awesome catch behind the plate. Diving into the stands. One down. Next up will be Roger Bresnahan, the catcher. He's also a Hall of Famer. Hitting 360. With just one RBI. Ground ball to short. Over to second for one. Back to first. Double play. And that's the, it for the Giants. So Red Ames will come on the pitch. He's 1-0 and with an ERA of 6.0. Six innings pitch. Ten hits allowed. Two walks and two strikeouts. Opponents are hitting 385 against them. So Roy Thomas will lead it off to center fielder. Next up will be Titus, the right fielder. John Titus. Batting third and playing left field will be Sherry McGee. Batting cleanup, the third baseman, Ernie Courtney. Batting fifth, Will be the first baseman, Kitty Bransfield. Batting sixth and playing shortstop will be Doolan. So we have Doolan and Doolan. So Doolan and Dolan <laughs> are the shortstops. Batting sixth and playing second base will be Kid Gleason. Batting seventh and catching, Red Doolan. Batting eighth. The pitcher Pittinger. Oops. Togi Pittinger. I'm sorry, batting ninth. <laughs> I just saw his name written twice, but it's got his, the pitching after that. All right, and that's it. So leading off will be Roy Thomas hitting. 317, well, 317 hitter on the season. And 296 so far in the replay with an RBI. So we'll go through the defense after the first batter. Ground ball back to Ames. Flips over to McGann. One down. So the outfield is as follows. Like, we, like we've said before, the Outfield is the Achilles heel of the Giants. Below average defensively for all three positions, except Brown's average. Uh, low fielding percentage, especially with Brown. Mertes has the best fielding percentage at 960. And the infield's a lot better. Devlin's an 8, which is above average. Dolan's a 7, also above average. Gilbert a six, about average, and McGann five, about as average as you can get. Uh, behind the plate, above average is Bresnahan. And percentage-wise, they're all pretty low except for McGann. McGann's a 991, definitely the best fielder out there. Um, Devlin way down at 932, 948 for Dolan, and Gilbert at 947. So the defense is definitely a liability for the Giants, as we've seen uh, in their three losses. So all right, next up will be John Titus, the right fielder. He's hitting 310 with five runs batted in. And he draws himself a one-out walk. So the first base runner for the Phillies. 
Sherry McGee up now, hitting 233 with a homer and four runs batted in. It looks like he's going to fly out to Brown. Brown drifts over, makes the catch. Titus heads back to the ba bag. So two down now for Ernie Courtney, hitting 345 with an RBI. He's on the move. And Titus has himself a stolen base. His second stolen base of the season. Ames looks in for the sign. Here's the windup and the pitch. Ground ball straight up the middle. Doolin makes a great... Dolan. <laughs> Dolan makes a great play over to McGann. And that'll retire the side. So after one... No score. Oh, I guess they did uh, go through with our ticker here. So actually, they did. They do show the scores. I just didn't. Uh, they just didn't blank them out, but I didn't look at them anyway. So we'll look at the sc uh, scores later on. But right now, it's Boston and Brooklyn scoreless in the second inning. So McGann will lead it off for the Giants here in the second, followed by Doolin and Gleason. McGann's hitting three twenty. With no homers and six runs batted in. And he gets under it. He looks like he's going to pop it up to the first baseman. Slow pop up. <laughs> and Bronzefield will make the catch. One down. Washington and New York are also scoreless in the American League in the second. So Sam Mertes will be up now, hitting 231. Ground ball the first. And it looks like he's going to have trouble handling it. And Bronsfield cannot make the play. And he's going to be charged an error on that one. So Martez will be on with a one out. He'll be on with one out. <laughs> All right. Art Devlin up now. Hitting 250 with four runs batted in. So Mertes is a, always a threat to steal. I think we're going to send him here. He's got one stolen base on the season, 52 on the actual year. So we're going to try to steal. And he's going to be safe. So Devlin has his second stolen base on the year. I mean, Mer Mertes has his second stolen base on the year. And he'll be in scoring position with one out. Philadelphia A's lead the Boston Red Sox. I don't know if they were the Red Sox. I think they were the Red Legs back then. Uh, one to nothing in the first. Not the Red Legs. That's Cincinnati. <laughs> uh, Red Stockings. That was it. All right. So, Pittenger looks in for the sign. He has the windup and the pitch. It's going to be a fly ball to center. Thomas has an excellent range. Makes the catch. Martez has the hold. Two down. Dowling up now. The shortstop. Hitting 333. With four runs batted in. And it's going to be back to the pitcher. And he muffs it. So Pittenger isn't able to make the play. He'll be charging error on that one. So two errors in the inning. Lead to runners on first and third with two down. For the second baseman, Billy Gilbert, hitting 250. Chance to get his first RBI on the season. And it's a foul. So two and two to count. St. Louis leads Pittsburgh in National League action, one to nothing. St. Louis Cardinals. And he'll draw himself a two out walk, and that'll load the bases. So the pitcher Ames is up now, Red Ames. He's only a 144 hitter, but he's one for two on the season. See if he can help his own cause and push across a run. Ground ball to second. Gleason's up with it over to first, and that'll retire the side. So the Giants load the bases, but cannot score. Bottom of the second. First baseman Bronze fields up. See if he can atone for his error in the first. 
even though it didn't lead into any runs. And a strikeout. So Mickey Duel on the shortstop up now, hitting 259. And no homers and three runs batted in, but he does have two triples. Triples were definitely more prevalent than home runs back in 1905. So we'll probably mention the doubles and triples instead of the home runs because you're not going to get more than one or two home runs probably for most of the players through the whole season. So I think we'll start mentioning doubles and triples. Ground ball up the line. Ames is going to cover. McGann flips over to him. Two down. Boston leads Philadelphia now in the bottom of the first. One to nothing. I mean, two to one. Kid Gleason comes to the plate now, hitting 259. One triple and four runs batted in. And it's going to fly out. Doesn't even. Thomas didn't even have to move. I mean, uh, not Thomas. <laughs> Tomlin didn't even have to move on that one. And that'll retire the side. St. Louis now leads Pittsburgh three to nothing in the second inning. Donlin up now. One for one. Sorry, Doin. Not Donlin. Donlin. <laughs> I was looking at the right Doins up next for the uh the catcher for uh, Philadelphia and Donlin's up now. The uh center fielder for the uh Giants. And it's like he's going to have himself a second hit. Goes all the way to the wall. He's going to have himself a triple. He slides and not even a throw. So it's cut off. And Donlin will have himself a leadoff triple here in the top of the third. So a good start for the Giants. Looking to scratch across that first run. George Brown up now. 0 for 1. It's gonna be a f and it's going to get down. So Brown has himself an RBI. Donlin comes in the score. One to nothing. Giants, they strike first. Always good to get that first run across. Brez the hand up now, or for one. Brown takes his lead. Hmm. Yeah. Not yet. And it's going to be up the middle. And the second baseman, Gleason, makes a poor play on the ball. Isn't able to get it. Gets past him. And looks like we locked up here. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Got my base coach over here. Shows up on the other screen. So send Brown to third. 33% chance. Nah, not with nobody out. So McGraw decides to... Hold up the runner. So runners on first and second now with nobody out. One runner already in. Dan McGann up now. 0 for 1. And it's going to be a fly ball to left. And Brent McGee will make the play. One down. New York now leads Washington in the second. Three to nothing. So Merte is up now. 0 for 1. Run is still in first and second. Hit down the third base line. Over to second for one. Back to first. Double play. So the Giants are able to score a one, but that's it. And after two and a half, we'll lead it one to nothing. So the catcher doing. We'll lead it off. He's hitting 200 with three runs batted in. It's going to be a line drive to Mertes. And he'll come in and make the catch. So the pitcher Pittenger up now. Hitting 167. Has one hit and six at-bats. Ground ball to short. He's up with it over to McGann. One down. Or two down, sorry. Chicago and Detroit are scoreless. Chicago White Sox, that is, and Detroit. In the fourth. 
So Thomas, the center fielder up now. He is 0 for 1. And it's going to get down. Brown will throw it into second. So the first hit for the for Philadelphia. Two down here in the third. So the Bean Eaters lead the uh, Philadelphia A's. Three to two in the second. So I'll try to pick off here. Keep them close. Does have a couple stolen bases on the season. I think he's back safely. So Titus up now. Walked his first time up. Ground ball to third. Runner was on the move, so the only play is at first. And that will retire the side. Chicago and Detroit are still scoreless in the fourth. So Devlin up now. He is 0 for 1. Danger looks in for the sign. He is the wind up in the pitch. And he strikes him out. One down. Dollar up now, also 0 for 1. It's going to get down. So he has himself a 1 out single. Hmm, I think we're going to run him to try to steal again. He's on the move. And this time he's out. So Dewin throws him out. Gleason applies the tag. And we got two out now with nobody on for Gilbert. He walked his first time up also. And he'll walk again. So Ames up now with two down. Ground ball to second in the short. Flips over to second. And that'll be it. So the Giants do not score here in the fourth and still lead it one to nothing going to the bottom of the fourth. McGee, Courtney, and Bransfield to be up for the Phillies. And he has himself a one out, I mean a lead off walk. Courtney up now, 0 for 1. He doesn't have any stolen bases, but he is a threat to steal. He did have 48 on the season. So I'm going to try to keep him close. He's back safely. Let me try one more. And the fans aren't happy with throwing over, but we got to keep him close. He is a stolen base threat. Especially in a one-run ball game. So Courtney up now, 0 for 1. Looks like he's going to bunt. And successful sacrifice. So McGee moves up to second now with one down. So running scoring position for Bransfield. 0 for, 0 for 1. And he's on the move again. He's going to try to steal third. And he's out. Bresnahan guns him down. Devlin at the sweep tag gets him. So a perfect execution by the Giants. And now there's two down with nobody on. So he was already in scoring position. Why did he try to do that? His manager is baffled. And Bransfield will draw him a two-out walk. Dueling up now. 0 for 1. And he's on the move. They're running on us today. And Bransfield will get himself a stolen base. His first steal of the season. So running, another runner in scoring position for Doolin. And it looks like he's going to he's got a single. Are they going to send him? Out chance eighteen percent. Nah, we don't want to. We want to keep uh, keep him out of scoring position. The other runner, the tying run will come in. Only eighteen percent chance. And Doolin gets himself a two hard RBI, and we're all tied up at one. So could Gleason up now or for one? 
We're going to try to keep them close as they, we, they're obviously trying to run on us, so. And he wasn't paying attention to the batter, and he walks him. So I'll do one up now. For runners on first and second. And Phil Blair to first. Ames covers. And that will retire the side. The Athletics, I mean, the Phillies score one, and after four, we're tied at one. So Donlin will lead off, two for two. Benjur looks in for the side. He delivers. And fouled it off the mask of Doolin. <laughs> that was an interesting sound effect there. I was wondering what was going on. So I was off from his mask. He's all right. Ground ball right back through the box. And Donlin will have himself a leadoff single. So it's a good start here for the Giants. Let's see. I think we might try a little hit and run here. It's a seven hit and run. And he's got 33 stolen bases. So yeah, we're going to do a little hit and run. Run is on the move and he pops him up. First baseman drifts over, makes the catch. Donlin makes it back safely. Thank God it was hit very high so Donlin could get himself back as he was on the move. So Bresnahan up now. I think we're going to try another steal. And he's safe. So number two in the air for Donlin, a second stolen base of the day for the Giants. So run in scoring position for Bresnahan. One for two. Ground ball. Gleason's up with it. Over to Bransfield. Tomlin will make it over the third now with two down. St. Louis Cardinals lead the Pittsburgh Pirates five to nothing now in the fourth. Let's take a look at some of our other scores. Chicago and Detroit are scoreless in the bottom of the fifth. Top of the third. The New York Highlanders lead the Washington Senators. Four to nothing. Williams has himself his first home run of the year. Philadelphia and Boston are tied at three. In the top of the fourth. Top of the fourth, as we said, St. Louis leads Pittsburgh five to nothing. Brooklyn leads Boston in the bottom of the fifth, one to nothing. Cleveland and St. Louis. Those are the Cleveland Nats there. I think that's what they were called. Uh, and the St. Louis Browns are tied. Are scoreless in the top of the second. Bottom of the first. The Reds and Cubs are scoreless. And those are your scores. And those are your pitchers. So here we're tied at one in the top of the fifth. Runner on third with two down from McGeon. He's 0 for 2. And it's going to be hit past Gleason. Gleason looked like he was stunned by that one. Barely even moved. Made a weak effort at it the last second. And that'll cost him as the runner will come in and give the Giants a 2-1 to one lead. Oh, he's got, he's got three stolen bases on this. I think we're going to try to steal again. Let's keep running. Safe. So third stolen base. And thrown out once. So running scoring position now for Mertes. And it's going to be a, oh, a great diving play. That's why he's a 10. By... Uh, Thomas, and that will save at least a run there. So hopefully that doesn't come back to bite us in this game. So Pittenger, the pitcher, will lead it off for the Phillies. He's 0 for 1. Slow dribbler. Second baseman charges in. And a great play. 
by Gilbert to retire the slow-footed Pittenger. Thomas up now, one for two. And he'll draw himself a one-out walk. So tying runs on for Titus, 0 for 1. He's on the move. And he's out. So Bresnahan guns down another runner. And the bases will be empty now for Titus. So Philly and Boston are tied at 3 in the 5th. And another walk. That's Ames's ouch. Sixth walk on the day. <laughs> so McGraw is coming out to talk to him. Looks like he's going to leave him in. See if they can uh, get the batter here, McGee. And he walks him too. Wow. Seven walks on the day. So the bullpen is busy for the for the Giants as he walks seven men today. Thank goodness. So far, though, it hasn't hurt him. They've only scored one run, but you definitely don't want to walk people. Not, not at that rate. <laughs> so Washington and New York are tied at four in the third. So Courtney will come up now. The tying run on second. Oh, he walks the bases loaded. Ooh, McGraw is pacing in the dugout. Looks like he's going to let him face Bransfield, though. Detroit and Chicago are still scoreless in the sixth. The White Sox, that is. Let's get aggressive here. And he's going to pop him up. Devlin will make the catch to retire the side. Woo! So he danced around the three base, three walks there, but they aren't able to score. So he head to the top of the six, two to one Giants. So Devlin will be up now, hoping to give start a rally to get the uh, Giants a little bit more breathing room. Sharply hit ball to center, and a great play again by. Thomas. Wow, it's the second great play he's made today. Great diving catch. Moving to his left. So dialing up now. One for two. Ground ball back to the pitcher. Pittenger has it. Over to Bransfield. Two down. So Gilbert up now. He's walked twice. This time he gets the ball. Puts wood on the ball. And that'll retire the side as he grounds out to short. So Ames is at 89 pitches. We're going to watch him closely here. Here at the bottom of the six. Doolin will lead it up. Ground ball to short. And that'll be one down. Dallin makes a play on that. Kid Gleason up now, 0 for 1 with a walk. Ground ball to third. So that's all right. So he's throwing strikes now, making him put it in play. That's what you got to do. So do one up now, 0 for 2. Oh, and his hot shot off of Ames' his leg. Looks like he's okay. And Ames will be charging the air on that one. Tough error as that ball was really sharply hit. But Pittenger, I mean, Ames will tell you he could have handled that one himself. So we reached 100 pitches. So we're going to throw it to first. Pittenger up now. And it's going to get down. And Dewan is running on the pitch. He'll make it all the way to third. So runners at the corners now. For Thomas, one for two. Ground ball. Oh, another error by Gilbert, the second baseman. And the defense again has failed the Giants. And a run will come home. So we're all 
tied at two again. Or oh, tied at two. Ha. <sighs> tied us up now. And he flies out to left, and that'll retire the side, but not before the Giants. I mean, the Phillies score a one on the error by Gilbert. And we're all tied at two here, going into the seventh. Hmm. I don't think we're gonna let any, we're gonna let it stay out there a little while longer. And he lines out to Courtney, makes the catch, one down. So Don Lynn up now, three for three. And he's going to fly out to right. Titus is under it, makes the catch, and they finally retire him for the first time today. Brown up now, one for three, with two down. And a liner to short. And make the catch, and one, two, three. Go the... Uh, Giants in the seventh. So McGee will lead it off. Slow roll to third. Close play at first. And he's able, Devlin's able to get him. Great stretch by McGann. So Courtney up now 0 for 1. With at least one walk, I'm sure. Ground ball to short. Talon's up with it. Over to th first. Two down. So Boston leads Brooklyn two to one now in the eighth. So the Bean Eaters lead the Dodgers. All right, Bransfield up now with nobody on base and two down. He's 0 for 2. And he's got it straight up through the middle. So two out base knock. Two one up now, one for three. Throws over to first. Try it again. Crowd is not happy. He is delivers to the plate. The run is off on the pitch. And it's uh, another error for Bresnahan. He had one game where he committed like three errors. And this is the first one in a while. But could prove costly as the go-ahead run moves to third. Senators and the Highlanders are tied at four in the fifth. So he needs to bear down and get the last runner and get the last batter. And he strikes him out. Or a rare strikeout, but came at the right time. And the Philadelphia Phillies do not score. So Bresnahan will be up now. One for three on the day. Grounds out to short. Doing as it. And that'll be the first out of the inning. St. Louis still leads Pittsburgh 5 to nothing in the sixth. Dan McGann up now, one for three. Ground ball down the first baseline. Bransfield's going to take it himself, two down. Sam Mertes now, hitless on the day. Still looking for his first hit. And he won't get it as he pops it up to first. Bransfield makes the catch, and one, two, three, go the Giants in the top of the eighth. Yeah, boy. Kid Gleason up now. He's at the 120 pitch count. We're going to play it batter by batter here. Do get, we do have some action in the pen, or we're going to get some action going in the pen. Looks like we're going to get Claude Elliott to start warming up. A slow roll to Gilbert. He's able to handle it. And throws over McGann. One down. Doing up now. 0 for 3. And he's going to fly out to left. Martez makes the catch. Two down. Pittenger up now. And he's got himself a, a hit. And he's going to move up to second. As Mertes cannot handle it. So credit him with an error. Charge him with an error, I should say. Pettinger move into scoring position now. So go ahead, run. It's now at second. So Thomas is up now, one for three. 
Ground ball to Gilbert. He handles it cleanly over to first. And that will retire the side. So the Phillies do not score in the bottom of the eighth. We're still tied at two. Devlin up now for three. Let's see, who do we got that plate can fight first, though? Oh, Clark Boiler Yard. Boiler Boiler Yard, Clark can do it. So I think we're gonna bring in Sammy Strang to pinch hit. Yeah, we're going to be Sammy Strang the pinch hit for Devlin. See if maybe he'll have better luck against Pittenger today. Strang is just one for six on the season with two runs batted in. Pittenger looks in for the sign. He has to wind up in the pitch. And he's going to fly out to center. Goes way back there, does Thomas, but he covers a lot of ground and makes the catch. So dialing up now, one for three. And strikes him out. Second strikeout on the day. Gilbert up now, 0 for 1 with a couple of walks, so we're going to let him hit away. Ground ball. And that'll retire the side, so 1, 2, 3, go the Giants in the top of the ninth. Wow. We'll play it batter by batter. Titus up first. I got third baseman. Oh, it's third base, not third base. Ooh, this could be a liability. Let's, let's strike. Oh, that could be a killer right there. <laughs> ah, did not look at that. Let's see, let's see. Can anybody else play? No, I don't think anybody else can. Ooh. I forgot that he was playing third and not first. I uh, hope that won't come back to bite us. <laughs> and the first play it does. Ugh. Man. <sighs> Alright, so go ahead runs that winning run. So McGee up now. Looks like he's going to lay down the bunt. They throw to second. They get the lead runner. No, they are not be able to get him. Oh, my goodness. Error on Bresnahan. His second error of the day. So Elliott's going to come in now. Oh. Pitching for New York. Claude Elliott. So he's one... 1.80 ERA on the day. Has one save. Five innings pitched. Six hits allowed. Two walks. No Ks. And the winning runs at second. Courtney up now. 0 for 2. He gets under one. Looks like Dylan's going to drift over. Definitely hit it to that side of the field. We don't want it the other side. Yeah, he's not, not any better, so. Oh, boy. So, one first down here. I mean, first out. <laughs> Wrong sport. So, they're going to play back. Hopefully get a double play here. With Dowling, the Bransfield, the first baseman up. Here's the windup in the pitch. Uh, gets under it. Hits, it. hits it to short left field. And he comes in and makes the catch. So, Nice catch by Mertes. Had to go a long way on that one. And Doolin's up now. And he's got one game-winning RBI on the season. Hopefully hopefully it'll stay at one. He's one for four on the day. Elliott looks in for the sign. Shakes off one. Gets one he likes. Here's the lined up in the pitch. Runners are off. And he makes a great play. And he gets him at first. So great play. By Elliot, and we head to extras. Whew. And he'll lead it off. 
188 header, 0 for 1 on the season. Not bad for a pitcher. Pittenger's still out there. And it's a foul ball. So, 2-2 two two the count. St. Louis leads Pittsburgh now 7-1 in the 7th. Ground ball the 2nd. Oh, it gets by Gleason. Looks like he barely even moved on that one. Like it went right through his legs. Actually, now that's still left him a little bit, but definitely they're going to give him a hit, but he definitely could have got that one. So Don Lynn up now, three for four on the day. Can't really pinch run for him because we don't really have any other pitchers, so we're going to leave him in. So Don Lynn up now. Yeah, he's got a hot bat. We're going to let him hit away. Gets under one and hits it out to left. One down. George Brown up now. I think we might try a little hit and run. Uh, I don't like the hit and run, though, with a pitcher. So who's up next? Bresney and the catcher. He's our best hitter. I think we're going to play it like we're in Japan. We're going to go for the bunt. Bunt for a sacrifice. Get the runner in scoring position. Lays down a bunt. Looks like a good one. Uh, ah, not good enough, though. Is there a throw, the throw out the lead runner? But at least we get a little more speed at first. It does not get the job done. So it'll take an extra base hit by Bresnahan here, or at least a single to keep the game going. Keep the inning going. So the Highlanders lead the Senators 5-4 to four now in the 8th. So Pittenger looks in for the sign. He has to wind up in the pitch. And he plunks him. That's one way to get a runner in scoring position. So McGann up now. One for four. Go ahead runs at scoring position. Pittenger looks in for the sign. 123 pitches. Uh, Philadelphia leads Boston now. Nine to three in the seventh. Here's the pitch. And he plunks him too. Wow. He's getting wild. He can't. That curveball just isn't able, isn't going where he wants it to go. So Merte is up now. Oh for four. I think we may have the backup catcher Bowerman come in. Say so Merte is his only uh, two. He's a two seventy nine hitter in real life. Come on, Sam. Yeah, we're not going to really benefit there. Our lefties, though, that only been up three at-bats. And yet this other guy has been about 13, but he doesn't have a hit. So we are going to leave Mertes in at bat because we don't really have anybody to play. What does he play? Left field. Yeah, we do have Bob Hall, but... Oh, we're going to leave him in. Come on, Mertes. I have faith in you. You're going to get your first hit of the day. Right, bases are loaded. Pinger looks in for the sign. He has to wind up in the pitch. <laughs> he gets under one. We can only hope for an error here. Come on. Ugh. So we head to the bottom of the 10th. Still tied at... Two. Third baseman, come on, Strang. You got a hold tough for me at third there. Could Gleason up now, 0 for 3. <gasps> oh, he makes the play! Excellent job, everybody's going nuts. Strang is able to retire a ba our base. Wow. <laughs> awesome play. Now, hit it, don't hit it that way. Doing, doing the catcher is 0 for 4. Hits at the center. He goes back. Ah, great catch by Donlin. Whew. So, pitcher Pittenger up now. He's two for four on the day. Getting 300 for the season. Elliot looks in for the sign. Gets what he wants. Delivers. 
And it's a line drive. And McGann makes the catch. So thank goodness we didn't put him at first, though, because that would have been a liability there if we would have had a bad fielder at first. Well, he probably would have been better at first. <laughs> oh, and he'll lead it off here. So come on, Strang. You can be the hero. Second at bat of the day. 0 for 1. Pittenger is still out there in the 11th inning. Gets under it. And slowly. Brands feels able to first out. Dialing up now. And Gleason is just not moving at all there. I don't know what's up with him. He's not he's not he's not going after the ball at all. <laughs> it's alright, we'll take it. We'll take it. So we get a one out base runner. Cleveland leads St. Louis two to nothing in the seventh. Thirty seven stolen bases. I think he has one on the day here. Gilbert's great bunter, but really if we can do the hit and run, that would be awesome too. He's 0 for two though. I think we're gonna try the straight out steal again. He has the wind up in the pitch, and looks like Dolan's gonna be off. He delivers. And he's out! Oh man. <laughs> he did not like that one. He thought he was safe. He thought he beat the throw, but no instant replay back then. Gotta go with what the umpire says. Gilbert up now, 0 for 2. Back to the pitcher. Eh, that probably would have been a double play ball, but who knows what would have happened. What would have happened. So we head to the bottom of the 11th. Still knotted up at th 2. Thomas up now, 1 for 4. It's at the center, and it's going to get down. So leadoff base runner. Thomas is at 23 stolen bases, 2 in the season. Goes over to first. He's back safely. Try one more time. And we the blue birds come out. Try one more time. Crowd is really getting on Elliot. Titus up now. And he's safe. He gets there safely after three pickoffs attempts. He still continues to run. So. St. Louis leads Pittsburgh 8 to 1 in the ninth now. Here's the wind up in the pitch. Balls hit the center. Throw comes back behind him, and Thomas is, does not tag up. Goes halfway like, the, like he's taught to do. McGee up now, 0 for 2. Hits wide center, and. Whoa! Great catch. I thought that was going to be over his head. He's going to tag up and go to third. And he's going to get in there with two down. So a pass ball or a wild pitch will get him in. Just do not hit it to Strang. Do not hit it to third. Anywhere but third. And in the air, please. Ground ball to Gilbert. He's up with it. Over to first. And they get out of it. Woo! So we're headed to the top of the 12th. Elliott will lead it off. The pitcher, one for one. And he's retired. So Pittenger's still out there at 135 pitches. Donlin up now, three for five. Put the charge into one. However, the human vacuum cleaner, Thomas, makes the catch. Brown's up now, one for five. And strikes him out. So we head to the bottom of the 12th. Bransfield will lead it off. One for four. Line drive to Gilbert. Makes the catch. One down. Dolan up now. Doolin. One for five. Slow number to short. Comes in for it. And he throws him out. Two down. Two up and two down. Could Gleason up now. Seems to be doing nothing at second base. Just standing there. Who knows what he's doing. He's 0 for 4 on the day. And he, but he does get a draw a walk here. Probably didn't swing at anything there. Dueling up now. Up now. Doing 0 for 5. See if we can catch him napping at first. No. Try one more time. Crowd gets on us. 
And a fly ball to left. And Billy has to move. McGee and makes the catch. So we head to the 13th. Still tied at two. Chicago leads Cincinnati now 7-1. Bresnahan one for four up. Ground ball back to the pitcher. Makes the play. One down. McGann up now. One for four. Put your charge in a one, and he goes back, back, and makes the catch. Thomas again. Sam Mertes now, up 0 for 5. And a two-out walk. 52 stolen bases. Here's our best space, though. we got to try to steal. It's straying up. Come on, baby. He's off with the pitch, and he's safe. He's in there. So, Strang, you can be the hero here. Come on, baby. You can do it. I know you can. You can't field, but you can hit. Pinger looks in for the sign at 152 pitchers. Come on, make a mistake pitch. Here we go. And they're going to walk him. They're, oh, wow. To bring up Dylan, who's two for five on the day. So his, Come on, Dylan, make him pay. Make him pay for, for walking Strang to get to you. And he lines out to first. Cannot do it. <laughs> so Pittenger, he's going to bat for himself here. Wow. Nope, he's not. Duffy is going to come in. So the manager, Duffy, is going to come in and says, I'm going to take control of this game. And hits it to left. Mertes barely has to move. Makes the catch one down. Thomas up now. Two for five. And it's going to be a one-out single. He didn't have much range over there at third. He also have 23 stolen bases, so we're going to... Kraus probably going to start booing at us. That's all right. That's all right. We don't care. Titus up now. 0 for 4. Hits it to center. And he barely has to move. Throws it back into Gilbert. Two down. Chicago leads Cincinnati 7-1, now in the ninth. McGee up now, 0-3. Ground ball to Gilbert. Oh, it's past him. He, oh, man. He did a Kid Gleason on that one. 1-3. One for three. I mean, uh, first and third now, two down. Winning run on third. Courtney up now, 0-4. Elliott must be getting close to the end of his rope here. Got nobody else in the pen, though, I don't think. Nobody else we can put in. Oh, man, we might have to bring Cooks Wiltsy there. Yeah, he just pitched, so we're going to have to bring in Dummy Taylor. He's going to start warming up. Oh, Lord, hopefully. All right. <laughs> I might have wanted to start him earlier, but won't matter if he doesn't get him out. But come on, come on. He can do it. One more batter. And he walks him. Let's go visit the mound. Mound trip. He looks tired. Oh, great. Uh, we're going to bring him in even though he's warming. If he's tired, he's almost certainly going to give up a hit. So so we gotta we got to bring him in, even though he's not ready yet. All right. Yep. Yeah. So. Come on, Hooks. You just need one more. He's a lefty, too, though. Oh, that's all right. One for five. And it's going to get down, and that'll be the ball game. <sighs> well, I think either way we would have done it, though. I think the other guy would have been tired anyway, so. So a poor managerial decision there in the 12th, and Philadelphia outlasts the Giants for their to go 4-4 four and four now on the season. So that'll be it. Let's check the... Oops, hold on. And where are my... Oh, did I, did I make the whole game go away? No. The final score from Baker Bowl. In 13 innings, Philadelphia 3, New York 2. Toby Pittinger picks up the win. He is now 2-1. and one. Claude Elliott gets the loss. He is now 0-1 on the season. Time of the game, 2 hours, 48 minutes. 
So Pittenger is the MVP, as he deservedly should be. Pitched the whole game. 2-1. and one. Elliott 0-1. Oh Ames pitched a great game, despite his eight walks. <laughs> only two, two runs allowed, only one of them earned. So Pinger pitches 13 innings. Wow. <laughs> You're not going to see that nowadays. 13 innings, a two-run ball. Unbelievable. So go to two and one. So Donlin was three for six. Dolan was two for six. That Thomas was excellent in the outfield for the Philadelphia Phillies and three for six on the day. Bransfield was, I don't know, I might give him, if it wasn't for Pittenger pitching all 13 innings, I might have given him the uh, MVP. But that's it. So we'll see you in the next video. This video's gone long enough. So hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you in the next 1905 New York Giants replay. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye.